And now join us here on the Inland Sports Show. He's the head football coach for the Liberty Bison, coming off that big win in the Mountain Pass League against San Jacinto is Adam Contreras, live from the baby's room, right, Coach? I mean, man, you just had another baby, and you're getting uh, you're, you're outnumbered uh, in your own house now. I, I it, it's uh, it's. It's awesome. I I, I lost uh, my office, you know, but this is, Remy, <laughs> this is Remy May's room and this is her room and the women rule this house. 100 <laughs> percent rule the house. Well, coach, I mean, what a football season. I mean, a couple of weeks ago, you, you an addition to the family and you've got Liberty in a great spot coming off. I don't know. Maybe it's biggest win in its short you know, program history. I mean, uh, what's it like being Adam Contreras right now? You know, it's. <laughs> I can't complain. <laughs> Things are going great. Um, you know, you're right. I had a baby on the, you know, a couple weeks. I say a couple weeks ago. She's already a month. Oh, my oh gosh. My goodness, time has flown by. So, you know, I was able to take a couple weeks off, spend time with the family and with Ranger and my wife. Um, you know, the football season's going well. Um, you know, we're getting better every week. Um, you know, obviously the Del Norte loss was a tough one. And I watched that from my couch. So it was tough. <laughs> Um, you know, cause I, any day now that, you know, the baby was coming, but yeah, uh, Santa Sino win, man, Woo, that was exciting. Uh, you know, we, we did it. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, obviously this is your first senior class, but in the, in the short history of Liberty, I, I would say that's probably it's, it's biggest win, right? Cause Santa Sino was the, the four time, uh, you know, mountain pass league champion and they were, they, they've been so good. Galliano does such a great job. They're a CIF champion. That was, that was a signature win for the bison. Absolutely. It's fair to say yeah, Galliano does a great job with those guys. It was 20 straight. They won in a mountain pass. Um, and so, yeah, I, I would say up to this point, definitely a signature win, you know, for the program. Coach, you know, high school football is such a funny thing, you know, like I know the players could have a bad test grade or they're arguing with their girlfriend. Like there's so many things that could be going on, you know, besides football. But, you know, like one week you guys have this battle against West Valley and, and you hold on at the very end um, and keep them out of the end zone on the final play. And then you turn around and, and get the biggest win in, in program history is, you know, is it just kind of fun to look at a, an entire football season? And like, like you said, man, maybe we should have beat Del Nort, even though you weren't physically there. Like maybe we should have beat Del Nort. You know, the West Valley game was so close. Oh, but we beat San Jacinto. Like it's kind of like ebbs and flows and ups and downs and, it, it is. It's ups and downs. And you just kind of hold on for dear life. And, <laughs> and you look at the West Valley game. Oh, man, <laughs> they, they're they're good. Yeah. And so we're just really honestly hanging on uh, to the last second, to the last play. And, you know, Skelton was able to make that tackle. And there's a lot of other plays that happened in the course of that game. But, man, and then, you know, again, you look at the Santa Sino where, wow, it was – I'm still in shock. You know, I'm still <laughs> – Still amazed. Um, you know, I, I knew we had it in us, but it was just, you know, to come into uh, fruition that that was it was awesome. But the highs and lows, we we've been holding off for dear life for these roller coasters. So but that's what it's all about, right? Like you wanted to be in this position. I know you, of course, you know, you're a, a brooch protege. You guys were in huge games at Heritage. You guys were playing for CIF championships and had big rivalry games and battling Rancho Verde and those things like you. You want to be in this spot, though, right? Yes, this is exactly, and and that's a message. You know, we told the guys, like, guys, this is where you want to be. These are the games that you want to play to see how good you are. And what got us thinking about that is when we were playing Citrus Hill, and they had the CIF championship emblem on their field, and that was my first year with Broach, and we looked at that and like, man, like we need to get there again. And um, and so again, the San Jacinto game is is you know, an opportunity for us to, to see where we were. Um, we knew we had it in us, but, you know, you want those types of games, the big games, mm -hmm. and that, that was a, a big game. So what's kind of the message, Coach, in the uh, final two weeks of league play, the regular season, um, to, you know, stay the course, you know, finish out um, undefeated in league play, get that, get that football league championship, and, and then focus on the playoffs. So what's kind of the, the message in these final two uh, league games? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, our first, our first and foremost um, goal was to win the league championship, and really, the you know, um, we control our own fate, 
and you know Paris is good. They have some athletes, and then you know you you have Takowitz. And the message is keep this train rolling, and we do that by going to work every day, and you know, and work on us. And it's always been the message on let's take care of us, and then the the rest will follow. And so our guys really have taken that to heart, and you know, bought in and are playing hard, and they believe in themselves. And so we just got to keep the train rolling. You know, Coach, from uh, from the video that I've seen, um, you know, these Liberty teams are kind of reminiscent of, of Heritage. You, you can run the football, you're physical, you're going to play hard defense and fly around. How would you kind of describe, you know, the brand of Liberty football this season that has led to so, so much success so far? Yeah, it definitely looks familiar. <laughs> uh, kind of deja vu and, you know, life, life over there at Heritage. But again, you know, Broach is broach. He, he's going to pound the ball. And, you know, we're huge up front. Our offensive line is, is is huge. They're physical. And, you know, with our quarterback being able to throw the ball, um, you know, that helps as well where we can complete um, and throw it deep on you at any given time, you know, with uh, Quinones to Velasco. And, you know, two to three really good running backs looks familiar as well. Um, and so it all is, and so that that's what it is. We're going to hit you in the mouth offensively, defensively. We're going to fly around and be stingy with, you know, giving up points. And, um, you know, that's, that's kind of been our MO all year is just, you know, working together as a team to be physical and hit you in the mouth on offense and then defense fly around and make you work to score. You know, coach, when you, when you look at this team, you know, you can play a, a low scoring defensive field position battle against West Valley and then turn around and and have, go into a firefight with San Jacinto, just back and forth, a track meet and a ton of points. Um, what do you think it says about this Bison team that regardless of who you're playing or the style of the game that kind of pans out, you guys find a way to win high scoring, low scoring doesn't matter. Yes, and that's been a huge opportunity for us to can we pull it out in the, the, the final minutes? Can we pull it off? And we were able to do that, you know, a couple of times this year and really see what you're made of. You know, it's easy to say, OK, they're because Santa Cena, that's a high octane offense. Yeah. They have weapons and they have that new quarterback. Man, he's good. Yeah. And so they could score at any given time. And, you know, credit to our guys is we didn't give up. And it, it just shows, you know, what kind of guys we have that they're willing to battle to you know to the end and not guy we were hurting <laughs> our guys were hurting <laughs> my middle linebacker's looking at me he's like coach like let's do this <laughs> all right his shoulders are hurting you know so he goes in and 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 you know you look at our running backs are like banged up like hey let's keep it going and, and so it really speaks volumes of what kind of guys that we have this year. And, you know, it's, it's going to get us, you know, pretty far this year, I think. You know, when you, when you followed Broach to Liberty, did you guys have um, any sort of like a, a long-term blueprint, like a plan, like, Oh, by year five, you know, we should be in a CIF championship game or by year 10, we should have a, you know, I didn't know if there was any sort of like a, a roadmap, like, okay, by year this, we should do this by year this, or is it just, hey, uh, you know, you guys are already with your first senior class winning a lot of football games. Um, I mean, did you guys have a plan? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, guys, we finally get, because a lot of us came over. Mm -hmm. um, the staff looks very familiar. And it was like, we finally get to breathe. There's no expectation for us. And we get to coach. We get to... Uh, our coaching staff, I, I truly enjoy them. We have a great coaching staff. We enjoy each other. Um, you know, Broach <laughs> officiated my wedding. <laughs> you know, I, I, we, we all talk on a daily basis. So it was mostly this, hey, let's coach with guys we enjoy being around with. And if we win a couple games, let, let's do it. So we had no plan. <laughs> um, but, you know, the competitor comes out, out of you and it's like, all right, we actually can be really good. Um, all right, let's start, let's start putting stuff together. Let's start, you know, let's start seeing how good we could be and we're, we're getting there. You know, I know st you still have two league games left. Is, is it too early to, 
you know, think playoffs. I don't know if you guys officially clinched a playoff spot yet based on where the standings are, but um, is it too early to start thinking playoffs and, you know, what this team might be capable of doing in the postseason? Always early to talk about playoffs, like playoffs, Yeah, you know. Um, But, you know, if we handle business this week and, you know, we perform like we know we can, it it sets us up for playoffs. Um, And then... You know, it's let's see how far we can keep this train rolling. Let's see how far we could get. But it really, I mean, the whole cliche, I'm going to be boring for you right now. It, it, it does start, you know, this Thursday with Paris. Um, you know, they, they can, they can beat us. Um, they have some weapons and we need to stay focused and we need to prepare for them and, um, you know, kind of take it game by game. But can we do well? Absolutely. So math, mathematically speaking, if you beat Paris this week, you'd have at least a share, right? Correct. Of the league title, yeah. Correct. Mathematically speaking, yes. And I'm a math teacher, so that's, yes. <laughs> I, can, I can say that, yes. You can vouch for me there. Um, Coach, too, like, I, I hate to, I don't want to leave anybody out at Liberty, but the wrestling teams had a tremendous amount of um, success already. The softball team, you know, getting to the CIF final. So it's, it's like Liberty's, they already have programs on campus, you know, doing some awesome things that you feel like almost it's, it's almost contagious. Like, Hey, there's a lot of cool things happening at Liberty right now. It is. Some of my best friends are head coaches of, of these programs here at Liberty. You know, again, you look at golf, water polo, cross country track, Tennis, my boy Baca, t- killing it at tennis. Um, he's a he's a heritage guy, and you know um, Peña, the the softball, and you know Coach Hog with wrestling. So it is contagious. It's almost like we have to step it up, so we <laughs> can be on their level, and 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 so. But yeah, you look across the board, um, and, and man, it, it's it's awesome. The the buy in that we have across the board, it's. It's contagious. Um, you know, our athletic director, um, Coach Moore, um, and our principal, Dr. Tejeda, man, they, they really set us up as coaches for success. They give us, you know, what we want, what we need um, to run a program, and they're the best around. And that's so important. Coaches who know, know. It's like, that's huge. not just lip service. Like, if you don't have admin oh, in your no. corner, it's, it's a rough go. <laughs> It, of course, yeah. If you know, you know. <laughs> so it's it's definitely it's you know it's made it it made it a lot easier for sure. All right, coach. Last question. You kind of touched on it in the very beginning. You mentioned it, but y- your wife is doing well. The new baby's doing well. The big brother's doing well. All everything's good at home. Everything everything's great at home. My parents were in. Uh, and uh, from Texas, they were able to visit my, uh, you know, my son and daughter. They were here for two weeks. They just left today. So um, things are going great. Things are going great. Um, Ranger's still adjusting. <laughs> He's still getting used to, to little Remy May. Uh, <laughs> but he loves her maybe too much where he's like booping the nose and wants to give her a thousand kisses. But, you know, he... He's working on his arm. We throw the pat. He throw the ball a hundred times a day, and <laughs> you know we're doing push-ups so he can protect his little sister. Yeah, hey, things are going great in the Contreras household. That's awesome. Probably not a lot of sleep. Busy time of the year, you know, football yeah, and babies yeah. and all kinds of stuff. I know. My wife said, "Hey, wash your eyes or something. You look tired. <laughs> goes, Where are you going with those bags under your eyes?" <laughs> Like, man, you'd be nice to me. Wow, that, but, that, that's uh, a good one. <laughs> yeah. You going on vacation with those guys? <laughs> but, uh, but it's a roasting and romance. That's what she called it. Roasting and romance. So, it's um, it's fun. I, I tell my wife, and she knows this, one of my favorite hobbies is just annoying her. <laughs> it's just messing with her. Yeah. So. Oh, I, I, I love that hobby. <laughs> I, I share in that, uh, in that hobby, so well coach Contreras uh, congrats man on the growing family congrats on uh, the big win against San Jacinto and I know there's uh, still a lot of football for you guys this season uh, beyond the the regular season and the league play so congrats on everything so far coach thank you Pep appreciate it thanks for having me on you got it that's Adam Contreras the head football coach for the Liberty Bison here on the Inland Sports Show Inland Sports